أنا ما أسمع عن حد بيقول لي يا مرة ولا يا لجوة ولا أي حاجة بقى. بيس مش مش عايز. They're debating two or three different ideas right now of what could be the problem. Just going back and forth about the really chopping ideas and going back and forth about the problem. While you debate, I can just show the techniques because then you will know because it's going to be layers over layers like echo. So we can just take fragments of words and just put them on. I'll just show you what you're going to do on this. كده وكده اه اه ماشي اه واقفين كده مثلا طب ما تيلا نشتغل على الحيطه عشان طب ما تيلا يا جماعه يلا خلاص اه لا بس انا مش عايز What does the writing say here? I'm not a license for your eyes. I am not a license for your eyes. My name is Khadija Ikhawas, uh, I'm 21 years old, I'm a professional Arabic English in the uh, calligrapher. I'm also Egypt's first light calligrapher. What have you been doing here at the WOW Women on Walls Wall in Cairo? I'm just putting uh, bad, bad thoughts, bad situations I've been through on it, because she's my friend, I'm telling it, to tell the the, the people on the street that uh, this is my story and I'm just wiping it out from your tongues, from your minds and I don't really care whether what you think about me. What is this eye standing for? This is any eye watching us, represent any eye, who's uh, beginning to be judgmental. Yeah, and I'm saying to him that uh, I'm not a license for any judgmental thoughts. I'm not on sale on, on the streets to just blare me with some bad thoughts. When you talk about the judgmental eye, who does this eye belong to? Met it in many faces, in men's eyes. But I'm just, um, just delivering this message to any woman or man who has harassed her or just treated her badly. message is really strict and straight with this writing I just it's all that I what I want to say to anyone who's passing by even if, uh, if he's a woman or a man you should stand and just uh, think about bad things you, you, you've done to women on streets or your sister your mother and just um, think again it's not your right and for women I'm just uh, trying to um, Tell her that there is just a woman like you painting on the streets. I'm just giving you courage to express yourselves. And yeah, I'm with you. I'm just talking about your 
have no problems too, just as mine. We're really the same. Just be encouraged to do uh, any type of expression you want, even if it's forbidden. Ines, tell me what you're doing here now. I'm writing equality in Arabic between men and women. How does that sound in Arabic, equality? Musawa. <laughs> Musawa. And now you're covering uh, equality with paint? No, I'm trying to light it up. So what about equality between men and women in Egypt? Um, not that good. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to, to like call for, for Musawa, for equality, because it's not that available in the Egyptian society. This word musawat is it used? Is it used often? Do you read it in the newspapers or in other places? I mean, are are men and women aware of this world and uh, the importance of it here? Uh, yeah, they are aware of it, but uh, it's the society and the law and everything here in Egypt doesn't give that equality. Because they always call a woman, she is only a mother, that she should stay at home, or a wife, that she should stay with her husband, not um, like housekeeper or something. <laughs> not that woman that is equal to the man's duty to work and have her friends and have her life. That's what. This is a woman's face. Um, half of it is a pharaonic. And the other half is that the Egyptian woman, not that modern and not that ancient one. We can express that with the makeup and the crown, the pharaonic crown and the uniform here and everything. Here with her hair and the other side with the scarves. And um, trying to express the woman through ages, a lot of ages in Egypt. I thought that I will find negative comments or something, but no, I found all the comments are positive and people were suggesting uh, some ideas with us, like um, the woman there uh, told me to draw uh, a woman's face behind the window or or present or something like that to, to show how um, how frustrated is the woman in Egypt. <laughs> I'm Salma Gamal. I'm 19. I study interior design. I'm from Alexandria. You are sitting uh, in front of your own painting here. How does that feel? It feels good. I like painting. I like graffiti. Why do you like graffiti? It's a way to express myself. I like painting things that are bigger than me. Can you tell me a little bit about your uh, graffiti, your street art piece? This one? Yes, this yes. one, yes. This is uh, about a woman who has a lot of eyes. Like she has a vision to the future or she can see the, she can see her future. She's determined. Tell me more about the eyes. What, what are they about these eyes? That she has a vision. She can see. She has plans to the future and she can see what she can do. Like the ability and uh, what she's capable of. Yeah. And the hand, what does the hand stand for? It's a stop harassment. Stop harassment. Have you been harassed yourself? Yes, every girl in Egypt has been harassed. In what way? 
does girls get harassed here? Sexually, by words, just uh, or just staring. Staring, uh, staring annoys me. We here have m many ways of harassment, you know. I don't feel comfortable talking about it. Because it's so disturbing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So many of you have painted eyes. You have painted eyes that have a vision, but um, Hadidja, she painted an eye that is judging you. Yes. Two different kind of eyes. Yes. One very negative and, uh, and yours is positive. Yeah. Because this, I want to send a positive message, like, stop harassing, I can see you. And then I have a, a vision. I'm not that weak. As society resembles women, like they're weak, they deserve protection, they have to be protected and just remain in, in a box, you know? Yeah. Have you left that box? Yes. When did you leave the box? Longer. Just because um, I'm a little bit different. I like to do things that, that I like. If it's not... Uh, religiously forbidden or uh, it's not something that you call um, uh, someone would judge me. I don't care about judgment. I just um, do what I want. This wall, white wall. Yeah. What did you think when you came? You remember? Yeah, it was ugly wall with um, some uh, some uh, bad words from the revolution and stuff. But now it's wonderful. We we have talked about that this training course had two goals. One was to give you some more skills. Um, it was also to uh, empower women, not only empower you, but empower women in general. Do you feel this wall can help us to empower women? Yes, it can because of the words written and the messages the wall sends. 
I believe uh, the you know the the case of, of uh, that women suffer from. We can't keep uh, calling it from TV and journals and stuff like that. We need to go to the street because the street, as I called it before, you know, like it's the crime scene. So we need to talk to them where they are, where these accidents happen usually, and where they always attack, get attacked in here in the street. So yeah, we need to contact with people with the graffiti, the street art. وحاربنا خوفنا ودعينا ايده واحده نار وليل وما فيش معاه شيء مستحيل صوت الحريه So what, what kind of interesting discussion have you had, the three of you? To inform Carolina a little about, uh, about the issues that might exist besides the sex, besides sexual harassment, like in public places. So uh, I think we discussed uh, like three or four at least. We discussed uh, FGM, Female Genital Mutilation, uh, which had its, uh, the national day for, for uh, yeah. ending FGM uh, two days ago. Um, as well as um, uh, education that has a higher percentage of male than female, especially that, in, yeah, yeah, especially Still? in in, rural, in, uh, in in like rural, yeah, in like countryside and stuff like that. Okay. Um, what else? We discussed uh, the fact that women are not really free actually in action to do whatever they want as well as, as much as main, men, so they actually have to do some tricks and reach some agreement with their parents so that, you know, they would free float a little bit more. We have these issues and we have names for them, like FPM, like this, but what is it really about? Like that's what we have to figure out for ourselves and express that might not be words, that might not be propagandish, that might not be it's just this feeling, and in that, that's what we're going to try to to convert on this wall. And we had some discussions here. If we're going to part into groups and work on different themes, do you have any suggestions? Like, uh, it's still, you know, like after the discussion, I'm, I'm not really the kind of person who would like to like force you guys into anything. So none of us actually. But, uh, <laughs> But uh, we were kind of thinking, like, instead of discussing just one topic, we would choose, like, we would do a vote or like, uh, and choose top three, some kind of top three topics, and like, divide this into three parts, but at the same time link those parts together. I don't think that when a man goes down in the street and walks, he's always reminded that he's a man. But because people look at you and you forget, why is he? Ah, he's looking at me because I'm a woman. Okay, so. Even if you're not uh, trying to uh, attract attention, just by being a woman, you're attracting attention. And this constant reminder of your gender is very annoying. Yeah. So, uh, Noor was saying uh, one of the, what she thinks, uh, she agrees with Alia, that one of the main things that uh, she thinks are the problem for the Egyptian women in general is the fact that when she walks in the street, she is constantly recognized that she is a woman, whether in a pleasant way or an unpleasant way. I'm 
Noor Shukri, Egyptian. Uh, I am 21 years old. I uh, studied at Factory of Board Education. We put this, uh, like this, uh, that we need to send the message by the man when he uh, smoked shisha. What does he think? Um, when the man uh, sitting in the ahwa of coffee shop, uh, they, um, they are thinking in uh, his head by um, the figure or, or the body. So you mean the man uh, sitting in the cafe smoking shisha, they will, they will all the time, you know, like some co uh, comment about, inside their head about yeah. the women that are passing by. Yeah. I draw this eye because um, all people uh, look at uh, look to women, uh, most of men in Egypt uh, look at look at women very bad. Uh, look, uh, I make this figure uh, by um, an eyes with his back and hair because we went we uh, walking at the street. Um, uh, we feel uh, that uh, men and people look at uh, us when we walk uh, without we... You mean you back. feel them in your yeah. back? Yes. Yeah. How, how does this make you feel when you walk in the street and you always see, feel that you have these eyes around you? Uh, I feel uh, bad mood. Uh, I don't like it. Because I am a human, like uh, a woman, like a man, uh, but in uh, our country, that's not man like uh, a human, like uh, but a woman, not very important like him. I, I feel so bad, like uh, I'm not the same with the man in this country. <laughs> that's it. That was a deep sigh. Yeah. I don't like it. don't like this.